because I think um, I was speaking to somebody the other day because, you know, we've launched this mentoring program and mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is really focusing on kind of regulatory quality and clinical, but not the technical knowledge, everything else, because in order to be successful, yes, you need to have expertise and you need to know stuff, but you need to be able to communicate and yes. um, you need to have, there are other soft skills kind of that go alongside it. Um, and I was speaking to somebody the other day, a senior VP, and I kind of said, what is the single most important kind of thing that, you know, you would look for um, in a potential hire? And it was the ability to problem solve, right? So the ability to kind of like know that if you have a problem, you can give that problem to someone, regulator in quality, and they will find a solution. They will, using their expertise, they will, they will find a way to, to, to make it work rather than only be the one that's kind of like, hey, I've got so many problems and, you know, I don't know, it's not my problem, it's your problem. And, and I think that that's critical. I see that a lot through all the hiring. And I don't know if you've had similar experiences. Yeah. They have to be able to make a plan and give you options. Mm. You know, and options could, could be you can do A, you can do B, or C, you can do nothing. Mm. But if you do nothing, here are your consequences. And a lot of regulatory people have personalities where they get really rigid yeah. and really take a firm stance rather than see where are my degrees of freedom. Mm. Um, and so that where do I have freedom to operate and, and coaching, you really also have to be a coach to people who are maybe in the manufacturing environment or on the sales side and kind of bring everybody along with you to find a workable solution for the whole organization. Um, and me personally, when I'm hiring junior type people, I look for just the willingness to learn mm -hmm. and the willingness to take feedback. Um, and you know, this is going to sound crazy, but that company that I told you about that had the, all the, the horrific regulatory history that I remediated, they had no staff, really no significant quality regulatory staff when they hired me. They were all, you know, kind of inspector floor level. Um, they gave me really no budget to hire anybody proper. And the last place I had worked in town, I, there was a forklift driver who did warehouse paperwork and her warehouse paperwork because I, I was helping in purchasing it was just always on the spot it was timely it was accurate i could always reconcile her records to what was in the purchasing system and i hired her as the complaint coordinator and she was so meticulous in her attention to detail in her willingness to learn that that given the resources I had, I was able to bring her up to a, a, a functional member of the team.